Hi everyone, I just wanted to let you know that this video is also a collaboration with 615 Care Bear on YouTube. She also did a get ready with me video, so go ahead and check that out and I will leave her channel in the description box below. And for this makeup look, I'm going to start out by concealing underneath my eyes with my Maybelline Dream Lumi highlighting concealer and I'm just putting that underneath my eyes and also highlighting any area of my face that I want to be a little bit brighter and I'm just going to blend that out with my fingers. Next, I'm using the CoverGirl Clean Makeup Foundation, and this is the Sensitive Formula. I believe it's because it doesn't have a fragrance in it, and that does usually bother my skin quite a bit, so it's been a very good foundation to me, and I'm just buffing that out with my Real Techniques Buffing Brush, and I will be setting all of my foundation and concealer with the NYX Set It and Don't Fret It setting powder. <laughs> Now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows using my Essence Brow Kit, and this just comes with a medium and kind of dark brown eyeshadow or brow shadow, and I'm just filling in my eyebrows using a combination of both of them and then taking the Essence Brow Gel, which I always do just to set my eyebrows in place. So moving on to the eyes, I am taking NYX's Nude Matte Eyeshadow and the color Birthday Suit, which is a very pale pink, and I'm just using that as a light wash of color all over my lids. I do want to keep this look very simple and kind of fresh, so I'm also going to line my waterline with NYX's Wonder Pencil. This pencil is really awesome. You can use it for your lips and your eyes and everything. And then using my Wet n Wild Mega Liner, I'm just going to draw on a kind of medium cat eye, but you can do it as thick or thin as you think that it suits your eye shape. And then I will finish off the eyes using my Maybelline Great Lash Lots of Lashes Mascara, and I'm generously applying this to my top lashes and also just slightly on my bottom lashes. I don't want it to look too heavy on the bottom. Now for my cheeks, like I said, I'm going for a kind of fresh look, so I'm using a cream blush by NYX and just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and blending it out. And for a little bit of an extra glow, I'm using e.l.f.'s Facial Whip, which is just a shimmering cream product, and I'm just applying that to my cheekbones and my brow bone as well. And for my lips, keeping with the drugstore theme, I'm going with a Maybelline Color Whisper, and this one is super pigmented. I was actually very surprised when I first put this on because I was not expecting it to be so bright, but it's a gorgeous color and I love it. So now moving on to hair, I'm going to heat up my Numi Magic Wand. I will have all the information about this and I've already protected my hair with some spray on heat protectant by Ozzy and I'll also of course leave all of the information about every product that I use in the description bar as always just in case you guys are curious. So basically for my hair, I'm just taking about one inch sections and wrapping that away from my face on the curling rod. And of course I'm doing this in sections because I wanna make sure I get every piece and make sure that it's all even and looks just kind of smooth. And it's hard to do that if, especially if you have thick hair without sectioning it off, it just makes it a lot easier. And I'm also just parting my hair on the side like I usually do and curling my bangs and the top pieces away from my face as well. And the curling rod kind of gives it like a vintage pinup look, which I really like. And it just makes it a little bit more romantic and the curling rod really does give it like a very soft look. So I'm just pinning my bangs off to the side just to get them out of the way. And that also kind of gives that 40s vibe to it, which I really like. And now moving on to the outfit. It.
And last but not least, I will show you guys how to get these very simple nails. So I painted about three coats of the Wet n Wild Sugar Coat Nail Polish and I let that dry and now I'm going to be using this stamping plate by BornPrettyStore.com. I'll have a link to it and I'm also going to use the Conad Stamper. So I'm taking a bit of white polish and I'm just going to put it right over the little heart that I'm going to use and I'll take the scraper to scrape off the excess nail polish and then I'll just stamp the heart onto the little stamper. It's super easy. For this one, I actually just wiped off those little letters at the bottom because you don't want that and I'm just stamping on the heart to the corner of my nail and I did that on all of my nails and I think it looks just very simple and cute for Valentine's Day and I just finished off the nails with a quick drying top coat. And that is it for my Valentine's Day Get Ready With Me video. Let me know if you guys liked it and if you'd like to see more Get Ready With Me's because I would definitely do them. I think they're really fun. Also, don't forget to check out Carrie's channel and her Get Ready With Me video. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you next time.